I'll see you everyone. It's Philip A. Croson with I'm Creature Science at I'm Creature Science.com. I'm Creature Science is now partnered with Chef Kai, cuisine extraordinaire of KT Foodies, to be the expert and guide you in the kitchen with meal preparation throughout your respective health journeys. Never let the unknown or lack of competency hinder you from healing your best self and discovering the innate creature in you again. What's up, everybody? This is Chef Kai from KT Foodies. I am here with I Am Creature Science, teaching you guys how to make spaghetti. Now, what we have here, we have some turkey, ground turkey, of course, tomato sauce, pasta, whole wheat, garlic oil, onion powder, salt, pepper, and that's all we need for the simplest, quickest way to go ahead and make your dish. So the first thing we're gonna do, we have our boiling water in the back. We're gonna go ahead and start our noodles. Okay, so now we are making our water for our spaghetti noodles, which we're using wheat organic noodles. The first thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and light my um, heat. I'm gonna put it on high. And then I'm just gonna wait for it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, noodles. And that is at a good boil. They say you should never pop, crack in half the noodles, so don't do that. So you wanna do, you just wanna go ahead and just rotate the noodles in here. It's gonna start softening up where you're gonna be able to put the, all of the noodles in. There we go. Strong, it's going to slowly all fit in. I never say I teach y'all nothing. There we go. Now that our noodles are in, we're just going to wait and cook this till it gets al dente. El dente. And our next step, we got a little little winger right here trying to pop out. Just gonna go ahead and cook our ground turkey. So I'm gonna turn this on to a medium heat. So by that time my skillet is nice and hot. garlic oil. What I did here was I had extra virgin olive oil and I just added my minced garlic into my oil while I was waiting to prep the rest of the things and now it's going to have a nice garlic taste. I'm going to mix the oil across the whole pan. Garlic's already popping, okay, so I'm art, so I know that my ground turkey is ready to go into the skillet. Oh yeah, like that sizzle. I'm gonna go ahead and just break it down a little bit. This is a nice, easy one, two, three. So break it down slightly. I'm gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. My salt. Some pepper, of course. Onion powder. Or you can use real onion. It's up to you. A little bit of garlic, just a little bit. Since we already coated the skillet with garlic. And you just want to just keep on breaking down the meat. It's going to start turning colors.
Thank you, Father. Kind of smell. I smell my garlic. Yes. Once the meat becomes a solid color, that's when I know that my turkey is done. Now, since it's more than halfway done, I can go ahead and add my tomato sauce. Because regardless, the turkey is still going to be cooking in the skillet. I like to add my tomato sauce with the meat so the tomato sauce can also add some flavor of the meat with it. So as the tomato sauce is warming up, the, the turkey is still going to be cooking. And then we're more than halfway there. Let me go ahead and pour the rest of my tomato sauce in here. Use all my sauce. It can never be too saucy. So I'm just going to put my heat down a little bit lower. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to check on my noodles. Now, as you can see, they look like they're pretty much done. Noodles take about eight to 10 minutes to go ahead and get to the correct texture that you want them. You don't want them too chewy. You don't want them too dense. So the next thing we're going to do is strain our noodles and turn off the heat, of course. There we are. So straining your noodles, you want to get a strainer, of course, and you're just going to go ahead and pour your hot water into it as the noodles fall into the strainer. As I do that, I can also um, add some oil so the noodles don't stick together. And we have that for it to cool off. Now, the oil just makes it separate. You don't need too much. A cap full is perfectly fine. And it's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and check on our tomato sauce. Looks like our tomato sauce is getting nice and heated. You can always try it. See if you need to add any more flavoring. Or if it's just right. I like to always tell people to season your, your protein and your tomato sauce as well. Because you don't want to have bland protein with your tomato sauce. It just, everything needs to balance. All 
right. So now that our tomato sauce is um, nice, warm, and hot, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Our noodles are ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plate the noodles. What I like to do, I like to get a nice amount. Put it in the middle and then do like a nice little twirl. Of course it stay. Next thing. I'm gonna add some of this nice beautiful sauce. With some vegan cheese. And now, there's my spaghetti. Bon appetit.